If you're on the side of the road right now or just needing to change your tire, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys where to find all your necessary tools, how to drop your spare, how to jack your truck up, and how to safely remove and change your tire. Let's get into it. So the first step in this whole process is locating your tools. Go under your back seat, you're gonna be able to find your jack and your wheel chocks. If you lift up the seat on the other side, you're gonna find your lug nut wrench that's going to be tied in on the back side right here. In order to take the jack out, there's gonna be a black knot that has the wheel chocks tied into it. You go ahead and unscrew that. Once you have this connecting bracket out for the wheel chocks, you can go ahead and turn this red dial counterclockwise. There's a little down arrow on it and you can turn it that way. All you're doing is you're releasing the pressure from the jack that it's in with the bracket and that's gonna allow you to take it out. Just like so. Before you do any work with changing your tire, make sure that you turn on the parking brake. And since this is an electric parking brake, you will hear that parking brake engage. If you don't hear the parking brake engage, you may have a faulty parking brake. Once the wheel chocks are removed, go ahead and put them in place. So before we go ahead and jack the truck up, we're going to first lower the spare tire. This is because bottle jacks are generally unstable and there is potential for us to rock the truck while we're lowering the spare tire, dislodging the bottle jack and causing the truck to fall. So in order to lower the spare tire, there is a hole that we're going to need to go through to actually lower it. It's going to be just to the right of the license plate. There's a tab on the right hand side. We can pull this open and then we're going to expose a keyhole. We're just going to take our regular key from our truck and we're going to insert that into the hole and turning it to the right and that will pull that right out. So that key lock is a safety mechanism for thieves don't steal your spare tire. But now that we've exposed this hole, there's a straight shot to a mechanism that will then release the spare tire and drop it to the ground. We're gonna use our extender from our lug nut wrench to actually release that. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that now. So within our bag of tools that we took out from the underneath the seat, there's gonna be three different extenders. The one on the right-hand side is for actually jacking the truck up so we can move them out of the package. And then we're gonna take these two and we're gonna connect them together. So in order to connect these two together, there's a little eye hole in this one right here. And then we can go ahead and line that up with the hole on this one. And that should just snap into place like so. And in order to connect it to our actual lug nut wrench, we can go ahead and slide that through, just compressing that hole and then sliding it through so that you can't get it out. So now that we have that whole mechanism together, this outer piece is actually going to lock in at the end. So we're gonna slide this tool in at a bit of an angle here. We're gonna feel it click into place and we can start turning counterclockwise. So now that we've got this dropped to the ground, we can go ahead and remove the center piece that actually secures the tire to the top of the vehicle. Something important to note with aftermarket wheels and tires is that this lug nut wrench will not fit on the lug nuts for uh, aftermarket tires. These are made for the stock. So make sure that if you do have aftermarket wheels or tires that you do have extra tools on you to take the lug nuts off. So now that we got the spare tire dropped, we're ready to jack the truck up but just before that, we're gonna have to loosen the lug nuts off first. If we don't loosen the lug nuts off before we raise the truck up, there's gonna be no friction or resistance from the tire trying to spin to actually break these lug nuts free. So that's why we wanna do it on the ground before we jack the truck up. So when we're jacking the truck up, we're gonna to wanna to find a good spot on the frame. Uh, for those that don't know, this is the frame right here. I like this spot right here for jacking up the front of the tires. And we wanna make sure that we're on a nice flat surface so the truck isn't gonna roll. And then also ideally we're on cement. Uh, you can do it on gravel and stuff in situations, but uh, ideally you're gonna be doing it on cement. And a good spot on the back of the truck, you have these two U-bolts and you've got the shock here. You can go right here on the axle and you can jack it up from there for the back. Okay, so we're ready to jack the truck up now. This is when that extra piece comes in handy. Uh, it's got that little hook on the end. That little hook is gonna go right in there, goes in sideways, and then it connects and you can actually spin this dial with the extender. And in order to hook these two pieces up, you've got the little push pin again. You just find where that hole is on the other one. And you slide it into place like so. 
Before you go ahead and jack this up though, I do like to just spin the dial by hand and actually get it into place. And then you can actually lift the vehicle with that little hook I was just showing you as you do have to spin this quite a bit to get it up and into place. Okay, so we've got the truck jacked up at this point and now we can just go ahead and finish loosening all of the lug nuts and take that tire completely off. Now that we have the tire off, we're gonna go ahead and put it underneath the truck, just in case that something were to happen and that bottle jack fails, the truck is gonna fall on the tire rather than falling on the calipers. So now that we have the other tire off, we can go ahead and install this tire. All we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that the wheel studs are lined up with our rim, like so, and slide that into place. So before we drop the jack, we're going to go ahead and install the lug nuts by hand, making sure that we don't cross thread them. All right, so we have the wheel in place. We've got the lug nuts in place. And now we're going to go ahead and drop the jack down. Once that jack starts to move under there, you know that there's no pressure left on the jack and that the tire is taking the entire pressure. So for these 2019 and up Chevy Silverado 1500s, they are asking for 140 foot pounds of torque. Obviously, if you're on the side of the highway, you're not gonna be able to have a torque wrench on you as you are changing a spare tire on the side of the road. So tighten them firmly. Uh, make sure that these aren't going to be coming loose. You don't want them so tight they're gonna be stripping anything, but make sure that they're tight. And then once you've driven about 100 kilometers or another 60 miles, pull over to the side of the road again and make sure that these lug nuts are tight and that nothing has come loose in the last little bit of driving. Make sure when you're tightening the lug nuts, you're going in a star pattern because you wanna make sure that you're tightening the tire and it's not gonna be warped one direction and then not actually aligning true when you're driving. So just tighten them in a star pattern and that'll make sure that that doesn't happen. And before you go driving off, make sure that the tire holder gets contracted back up underneath the truck so you're not dragging that and wrecking it in the process. And make sure you close that so you don't look like a doofus out on the road. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this content, these two other videos that are on the screen right now, you may also enjoy. So until next time, take care.